It's an area of movie collecting that fans aren't talking about enough. Coming up on Serial at Midnight, The Digital Collection Dilemma. Howdy guys, welcome back to Serial at Midnight. My name is Heath Holland, and you know, in the years that I've been on YouTube and with the, the thousand plus videos that I've made, most of which is about physical media. I've talked about collecting. I've talked about uh, DVDs and Blu-rays and 4Ks and the importance of ownership. I've gone to thrift stores, pouring through the, the stacks, looking for obscure movies that I can add to my collection because I want that hard copy. Ownership is so important for the things that we care about. But there's one thing that I don't think I've ever talked about here on the channel, and that is a digital collection. Listen, I'm not talking about streaming. I'm not talking about subscribing to a service. I'm talking about when you pay money for a digital copy and it goes into a digital library. They're already included with a lot of what we're buying already. You know, if we buy a Blu-ray or a 4K for a new release from a studio, most of the time that's going to come with a code to be redeemed in Movies Anywhere or in Vudu. And that movie is yours now in your digital library. You know, I used to see it as a backup. Well, if something ever happens to my disc, thank goodness I've got a backup. Now, more and more, as my physical media collection grows, it becomes more important to me that that digital collection is curated and I'm going to it more and more. Now, listen, there's going to be a lot of, it's going to be a lot of feedback about this. Let's look at the pros and cons. Let's start with the cons, right? The, the biggest con, the thing that I've been talking about for years here, with a digital version of a movie, you don't own it. So when you have the disc, you have unprecedented access to what's on that disc. Whether it's out of print, no matter where the rights are, you've got it forever. You don't own a digital copy. You can't download them most of the time. You can't buy them, you can't, you can't sell them. They have no equity. You can't trade a digital copy. You can't sell a digital copy once you've redeemed it. It lives forever in that digital library. And some people are going to say, but does it live there forever? Listen, I've been redeeming copies for years. I don't think I've lost anything. I got some real obscurities in my collection for things that aren't even licensed to certain, to certain companies anymore, but they're still in my digital collection. Uh, the other major con that we have to talk about is quality. So 4K digital is not the same as a 4K Blu-ray. It is a digital stream that is compressed. Now, how compressed is it? It's gonna depend on your service. It's gonna depend on, depend on demand at that time of day. It's gonna depend on how it was uploaded. There's a lot of factors there. It's gonna vary, but it's going to be compressed. Then there are the pros. So let's talk about the pros. The first pro is the price. There's a lot of stuff that is just very expensive on physical media. Here's an example, just perfect example that I noticed today. So the Muppets, Take Manhattan has just recently arrived on 4K. Now I already have that on disc. So for me, this would be a double dip, actually probably a triple dip because I think Blu DVD, Blu-ray, 4K, I think that's a triple dip for me. So it's $28 for the 4K of a movie I already have. Well, you can redeem, there's a sale right now, fanflix.co as I think the website, uh, they are selling the Muppets Take Manhattan 4K digital version, five bucks. Five bucks I can upgrade my copy of Muppets Take Manhattan. Still got the disc in my collection. Now it has, the, the 4K disc has a commentary, a new commentary with Frank Oz that obviously the digital version is not going to have. But for me, I think it's worth it to pay $5 and have that better viewing experience. Listen, regardless of how compressed it is, it's going to look better for me than what I've already got. That's going to be an upgrade for me. So, and I, and I have it right there, right? So that's the other reason is convenience because a digital version is going to, it's wherever I want it to be. It's portable, you know, it's on my iPad, it's on my phone, it's on my TV. The bigger this collection gets, I'm gonna confess something to you guys. Twice over this, the last month, really the last three weeks, I've wanted to watch something that I know I have and I spent an hour looking for it in my collection and I couldn't find it. That happened twice. So that's two hours lost. That's the length of a movie that I've lost looking for something that I know I already have and I can't find it because there's just stuff piled up everywhere in this room. Now, some people are going to say, well, oh, bro, that's why I only have 50 movies because if I can't watch it all in one year, I don't need it. Everybody puts these rules on their own collection. I don't do that. I want to have as much as I can in a hard copy within arm's reach, but that arm's reach is getting harder the bigger my collection gets. I've talked about how I'm sleeving a lot of my titles too, 
for this very reason, because it's become unmanageable. The size has become unmanageable. The digital version, listen, I fire up the, the Voodoo app on my TV or whatever app, you know, if I want to fire up Movies Anywhere on the computer, wherever it is, I fire it up. There's my library. You know, Night, Night Court recently got a complete series DVD release. I bought it years ago digitally and it lives in my library and all I got just watch it from my couch. So that's another thing is there's a lot of titles that have not arrived on physical media yet in the presentation that these movies deserve. But there's a digital version and you can get those titles for, you know, five bucks. Now, first of all, I would never pay like 20 bucks for a digital copy. I'm gonna look for deals because I'm thrifty. I'm just why I go to thrift stores. Like I'm thrift. I'm a thrifty kind of guy. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pay high retail. I'm not gonna pay twenty five dollars for a digital version, but I'll pay five. I'm gonna tell you guys. Uh, there's a, a sale happening right. I'm gonna reference fan flicks again. There's a Lionsgate sale happening right now. There's a bunch of Vestron titles. Vestron Video. You know, Lionsgate owns Vestron. That Vest. The Vestron Video label. They've been having a three for five dollars sale. So you better believe that I've been checking that out and I've been experimenting on things. I don't have to own physically everything that I watch. The important thing for me is access, right? And that's what I've been preaching for years. I don't have all these movies because I love shiny discs. And the connection that some people have with those shiny discs, see that's where the collector and the cinephile go in two different directions. Because I love, I like I am a collector, but the cinephile wins. You know, I don't buy all this stuff just to have it and come in and like look at it and go, oh, I want to be able to watch it. So that means I'm buying digital copies of things that I can't even get on Blu-ray. Okay, like Dickie Roberts, is this video going up? The, the David Spade movie. There's no Blu-ray for that. Five bucks, digital code, right now, voodoo. Uh, Kung Pao, Enter the Fist, right? That like martial arts parody movie from, was it like 2004 or something like that? No Blu-ray, five bucks. There's a lot of stuff that uh, Olive Films had licensed from Paramount. Really obscure stuff. I was even Twilight Time before them, maybe, I think. Uh, companies that have come and they've gone. Those are Twilight Time and Olive Films are companies that have come and they have gone. They are gone. They're out of business. When they go out of business, those titles go out of print. But those movies live on. And in a digital library, they're like five bucks. So, you know, I'm talking like Jerry Lewis movies and Westerns and all sorts of things. HD, I should mention that. I should have mentioned that earlier. We're talking about HD copies. For me, digital has become more appealing as I see those prices coming down and really as access becomes the most important thing for me. So that's gonna do it for this one. I wanna hear from you. I wanna know if you are redeeming your digital codes, if you're dipping into your digital library as a backup to your physical media library or a supplement to your physical media library. Let's talk about it in the comments below. I wanna share with you how I feel. Now let's continue the conversation. Guys, thanks so much. I appreciate you. Take care. Till next time, I will catch you later.